Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and especially our most welcome guest. A long time ago, there lived three big bad wolves in a forest called Los Lobos in a land called Happily Ever After. These three bad, big bad wolves, however, were lonely and they went down to the wolf den <coughs> to have a little hot wolf toddy and they talked about <laughs> what in the world were they going to do to find a sheep wolf because there weren't any sheep wolves in their land of happily ever after. So they weren't that happy. So they did what every modern wolf might do. Time five minutes. I know, I know. I, I know oh, that I'm already done. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I started the watch. But I'm That's okay. So, let me get your attention. So, they did what any wolf would do in this modern day. They contacted heavily, happily ever after .com dating service. <laughs> they did. They went online and they put that they were looking, because they all got together and discussed it, they were looking for hmm, a very pretty she-wolf. They would like one to be blonde. And they would like one to have blue eyes, and they would like her to be tall, and they would like her to be smart and have a nice profession. Okay. Meanwhile, there's Barbie. Barbie is so excited. Ken has finally popped the question after 43 years. <laughs> she has a closet full of clothes except the wedding gown. So naturally, Barbie sits and sublimely sews her very own wedding gown because after all, Barbie is now officially a doctor and a lawyer and indeed <laughs> chief a teacher and an astronaut. She can do everything. Yes, exactly, just like Hello Kitty did. They went to the same, they went to the same place. <laughs> they went to the very same place. So the wedding day comes, and Barbie is walking down the aisle with her best friend Midge. And Ken says, I can't do this, because the reason I've waited this 43 years is because I've actually always loved Midge. Barbie is left in her beautiful white gown at the altar with tears in her eyes. And she instantly does what any modern girl would do. She went immediately to the happily ever after dating.com site. And she asked for a real Prince Charming. Enough of this Ken stuff. She wants a Prince Charming. She wants it all. She wants someone that has the accolades that she's earned. Goodness gracious. She, she wants it all. So she asked for tall, dark, handsome, wealthy, great house, all of it. She wants Prince Charming himself. She ends up dating toads and frogs <laughs> and lizards and scum of the earth. But they all were, in fact, Prince Charmings. They just weren't very nice guys. Then she looked one more time. And on the website, it said, Big Bad Wolves. <laughs> and she thought, well, what's a girl to do? I don't have anything for dinner tonight. I don't want to cook. I'll give it a go. So she decides that she will indeed accept a coffee date with the Big Bad Wolves. <laughs> but one at a time. Just one at a time. Just one at a time. So the Big Bad Wolf, number one, invites her to his home and she goes to his house and she knocks on the door and he answers it and before he gets there she notices that the house is ecologically very 
up to date, it appears to be made out of recycled straw. <laughs> and she thinks that's kind of a good thing. Maybe this is a nice guy. And she opens the door and, well, he is the big bad wolf. So when she gets inside, he invites her in. And he's kind of got a look that she doesn't really care for. And she sees that all of his art are photographs of women. Lots and lots and lots of girls. Pretty girls here, pretty girls there, pretty wolves, pretty this. And he realizes that she's not a wolf at all, because he'd ask for a she-wolf, right? Yes. And she's not a she-wolf. Well, he doesn't seem to be the right kind of man for her either. So, he tries to keep her in his house. And she snuffed. And she sniffed. And she put her foot down. And she just <laughs> left that house right away and went over to Bachelor Wolf Number Two's house that appeared that appeared to be made out of another recyclable material. It appeared to be made out of sticks. It was really interesting. It had a stick on the door, a stick over here when she was invited in. Sure enough, all of the furniture she's sitting in a chair. It's made of sticks. Can you imagine? It was kind of interesting. She liked it. And he brought her in, and she looked around at the artwork, and it was acceptable. It was all very nice. And she started talking about this and that and what she was looking for. And he didn't seem to mind that she wasn't a she-wolf, and he seemed to be okay. And he said, well, there's, a, there's one little thing. I do have a special one woman in my life. Mom? <laughs> Mom? What do you think? Well, his mother did not approve of her. And she did not approve of the mother. So she snuffed. And she sniffed. And she put her foot down. And she went strolling over to the third bachelor's <coughs> door. And guess what? He opened the door, and it was all Barbie pink. Everywhere she looked. And the big bad wolf turned out to be, deep in his heart, really and truly a Prince Charming after all. And they live happily ever after. So the moral of the story is, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a Barbie either. <laughs> Yes, it was. How did this speaker capture and hold your interest? The story was called Barbie and Three and the Big Bad Wolves. And to take off on the uh, original timeless story, the, um, the Big and the Big Bad Wolves, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And it was good because I've never heard of uh, Barbie and Three and the Big <laughs> Bad Wolves ever. It was. Um, also, I mean, uh, sublime. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, it really held my interest because I felt a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Like, the, what's it called, um, from Shrek to the Happily Ever After Land? Is that from Shrek 2? You took a sector. So. Well, that, that's what I thought. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And were the elements of a good story, were the elements of a good story, and which ones were missing, and how did it affect the story? None were missing. I thought it was a very clear and very tricky uh, way to present the big bad wolves, and obviously, um, Kyle did her own little creative uh, workshop into working the three big bad wolves, uh, minus the two big bad wolves and adding Barbie and Ken and, what's Ken's other girlfriend's name? Midge. Midge, okay. And, um, I can't say what I'm thinking. so every, everything was great. Um, I thought the moral of the story was great. And was, the final question was, was there a twist to the story? And was, was it successful? There was a twist to the story. It was, it, it, all during the story was that there were twist. And it was very successful. So thank you very much for your 
Excellent presentation.